Hi, I'm John Bloomberg. I'm an EMT with the 911 system in New York State, and I'm also CEO of Core Medical Systems. This is another in a series of videos we're doing on how to use the items in your traveler rescue kit. Today we're going to talk about EpiPens and anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is, the, is defined as airway associated um, choking from an allergy. So if someone just has hives around their wrists or swelling of the, um, uh, the ankles or something like that, that is no reason to use an EpiPen. Um, anaphylaxis is a true emergency because the patient is not getting any air. So use of this EpiPen or auto injector um, is called for and is called for immediately. Now 30% of the people that need one injection are going to need a second injection. How will you know? Because 10 to 12 minutes later, these people will start to have trouble breathing again. Um, there are two different sizes. One is adult, it's a 0.30 dose. dose. The second is pediatric, which is a half, half of that dose, or 0.15. Once again, this is only for use in anaphylaxis. So how do we use this? This one says pull. So the first thing we do is pull this off. This shows you the red injector tip of the pen. We never put our finger near there. If you accidentally stab yourself and inject you with inject yourself with epinephrine, you must go to the ER immediately because you could use loose of your hand for a year or forever. That's how serious this is. But in a big muscle like the thigh muscle where it's supposed to go, this is no problem at all. So that's number one. Number two is indicated with the number two. So we're going to pull this one off. Once they're off, this pen is ready to use. Now this goes in the thigh between the knee, halfway between the knee and the hip. It can be injected seating, uh, seated, standing, through clothing, a dress, bare skin. Try not to hit the seam of the clothing if you can. And it's not really like an injection, it's more like a stab. So you start out at the side and bring it and inject it into the patient's thigh. Count to 10 in seconds, a real 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Withdraw it straight out and then massage this area for another ten seconds to help disperse it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The auto injector may show that it still has medication in here. If you look at this and you see that it still has medication, don't worry. The auto injector knows exactly how much medication to give. Also, if before you inject, and you should always with medications check the expiration date, with this one you're going to look here. If this medication is cloudy, that's telling you that the pen has been infiltrated and you don't want to use this medication. So, uh, it could be standing. Once again, pull off cap one, pull off cap two, and then it's just a swing and a stab. You're going to use a separate pen for each time you inject the person, obviously. Between the knee and the hip, halfway between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Withdraw it straight out. Keep your finger away from the red tip and massage this for another 10 seconds. That's been our discussion of the EpiPen. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. I'm John Bloomberg. You can get to me at jjb at corecpr.com. Find us on the web at jj, uh, sorry, find us on the web at corecpr.com or give me a call at 212-873-0105. Thanks for joining us.